All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Welcome, welcome to the, the NHK, NHK, episode 15. All, All right. right. So we've uh, we've got our, our boy uh, Sato back, mm -hmm. and uh, he's talked with Misaki. But, um, yeah, yeah, things are still... Yeah, um, eh. it's different. Yeah, now. it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're moving forward in their own way. Um, and Sato might even be moving forward in a different way way yes courtesy of uh one of his unlikely friends yes telling about an mmo where he can sell items mm -hmm. uh for real money uh you know after no lifing it in an mmo it's it, it good makes money me, yeah it makes, makes me think about <laughs> wow tokens and and my time playing star wars the old republic for way too many years oh boy oh my god just oh uh, boy no lifing in an mmos that's Oh, that's too real. Those were dark times. <laughs> Those were dark times. You shut your indeed. mouth. Those were great <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So but here we are. Yeah, here we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a cliffhanger, though. No, no, cliffhanger was a couple episodes previous. Oh, we had a really... A non-literal really cliffhanger. Non-literal cliffhanger okay. yeah, here, right. though, with his mom calling... And she's not doing well. And they didn't say what it was. And then he's like, what? Exactly. No. Yeah. And then cut. It's yeah. just like, really? Mm -hmm. Really? You're going to do that to us? No, it, no. she was actually calling to say, we need a tank for this raid. <laughs> Tanks are in real short supply. What? Quick, what? Honey. You can't just... You can't just get to level like, forty as fast as no, you can. No, no, you can't just carry him like up to like that, you know max level at that at that quickly. No, it takes time, Jacob. It takes man hours, serious hours. Yes. But uh, yes, we're gonna find out what's going on with his mom, mm -hmm. and hopefully it's nothing serious because she's wholesome and wonderful. Yes. And we don't want there to be a situation where she, you know. Well. Yeah, but it could be something also related to the dad, like you know, dad coming back or dad dying or mm, something. We'll see. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh! Oh! oh his world is collapsing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going straight to that MMO. He's gonna grind the hell out of it. Oh! Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Crap. Okay. Her, his dad and her husband, uh, um, yeah. He was muttering failure of a man for himself. Like, like, oh. like, that's, yeah. Oh, 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 crap. Wow. He is, he is really running low. All right, time to spice and wolf this. You need some, he's going to remember, but wait. <laughs> yep, yep. Remember, flashback. Cue it. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, he's going to wow. know life it's so hard. Yep. But I mean, that's what he's been doing so far anyways. One month of free. Because he doesn't have the money even for a sub, probably. Oh yeah, yeah. Problem is, he'll have to actually be friends with someone in the game, probably, in order to get really good oh, and do uh -huh. all the group content. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And now the real... The real story begins, Jacob. Wow. I want it to be like the game's called like Age of Xenophar or, you know, like, oh my God, we're getting fully animated. Like, Kazuma, Kazuma. Yep. Wow. Uh, high level gear players walking by. That almost looks like Masaki for a second. That would be really funny if she like already played <laughs> the game. You better oh. hope the you better hope the death mechanic in this game isn't too uh, punishing. Yeah. Huh. Huh. 
Oh no, he's gonna become a Hiki Hikikomori in the game too. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Get an adventuring party. Yep. No, then go to a different area. Yeah. Those guys. He's gonna have money problems in the game. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Especially playing an MMO. Especially playing an MMO. わかった。もしかして一人でやってます。あ。お。普通はパーティーでやりますか。パーティー。Yep. In other words, you interact with people. Yep. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. This is what makes MMO so great. <laughs> I love how he sees the party composition in this manner, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, he's the fighter. The wizard is uh, Yamazaki. Yeah. The ranger yep. is uh, Misaki. And then you've got, like, the barbarian. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, no. You're, you've lost him. Oh, no! <laughs> really? <laughs> you just say... Looking for a party. <laughs> oh no. That's the problem with going to video games for... <laughs> He's probably literally going to an area where it's over-leveled for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's singing the ED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even listening, like, for the most part. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. There are smaller monsters. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's gonna be like, there's some little rats, like, over mm -hmm. in the sewers, and he's gonna be the guy grinding, like, level one mobs well, for, like, and, way and too he's, long. He's so happy and positive, and she's like, wow, it's really helping, yeah. Ah, uh, no. In a positive direction. Yep, a little bit of XP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why why show even the game at this point? We know yep. what's going on. Uh -huh. Sun comes up, sun comes down. Sun uh -huh. comes up, sun comes down. Sun yep. comes up, sun comes down. It's ridiculous. Oh, when, man. When I played World of Warcraft, I, I have some hilarious stories about MMOs and stuff. But I no-lifed for a good, like, four to six months, I would say. And this was back when... Uh, Just TBC was uh was like building up the hype towards uh Wrath of the Lich King. Oh my gosh. And uh <laughs> Jeez, yeah. you can at least let yeah. her know yeah, yeah. that he's not going. Oh my god. That is a million yen fine. Yeah. Yeah. You could maybe go visit. Yeah, now he's easily able to kill that thing, yep. No, this is an MMO, dude. Welcome to the grind. Yeah. If it was Eevee, yeah. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You were doing this the wrong way. They must be like level 50. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, cat girl. Ah, he has a spell already. Ugh. 
Oh, the healer was trying to Zoa level? Yeah. That's... It's totally Misaki. It's totally Misaki. The, the, I mean... Yeah, Mia. Misaki. I mean, yeah, I would not be surprised at all. No, no, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. No. <laughs> Although she would make a cat character. Well, what, but the thing is, is that the rule of the internet is that mm -hmm. all the girls on the internet are actually dudes. Mm -hmm. But, oh, uh, yeah, like, seriously. Just communication, bro. ありがとう。レベル Maintenance time. Oh no. Servers are going down. Oh, oh, that's that's the doorbell. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's worried for his life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. We finally get to see the UI of the game. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What's this? Because they changed the ED. But I don't think it had that TV screen at the beginning before. It just went straight oh. to this. Oh. Yeah, so, so they're was... being like, we're in the game now. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. And we're not coming out anytime soon. Oh my god, I have so many MMO stories, though. Like, because you and I both played SWOTOR together mm -hmm. from, like, the yeah, beginning. Yeah, but you always got way more into it than I did. Yeah, but we both, like, you know, intentionally, like, oh. planned on launch. Oh, yeah, day. yeah. And we're like, like all right, characters. Let's, let's let's do this. And and all right, let's disappear. Oh, I guess it's seven a.m. We should probably go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That was two thousand and eight. Twelve. No, Twelve. I think. Yeah. Well, it was either Wait. December two thousand eleven. Two thousand or two thousand twelve. I think it was eleven. You were sixteen. I think so. Yeah, because I think it was a big deal that you were actually getting a, you know, an MMO subscription. Right. Because you had, you had summer job money, but mm -hmm. yeah, but that was about it. Right, right. Because I was getting hyped at it when school was starting, when I was in California, and then when I came back mm -hmm. up, then we started playing. Yeah. I'm gone, man. Solid, Solid gone. gone. <laughs> now, um, this is the problem here. What we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our, our boy Sato regressing so far back because he doesn't know what he's really getting into. Which is kind of, which is like the which most... Which is hilarious because... Right, because given that he's a hikikomori and, and he doesn't know anything about gal games or video games or, you know, all this stuff. like Much of anything, yeah. Right, right, exactly. It's it's one, it's great because he can experience everything for the first time, so it's yep. much more new to him and all that stuff as opposed right. to things that he's already treaded before and it makes it way more uh, beginner friendly for if people don't know about the... MMOs the, and all that. The yeah. experience you can have with that, right? Oh um, my god. <laughs> so Man. I don't want to have this discussion be entirely just MMO stories, but just bear with us here as a lot of this discussion is going to be MMO stories from from me. Um, uh, so he's, uh, yeah, he's he's doing fine. He's uh, he's, doing... he's not uh, he's not in a bad way yet. 
meaning like it out can of get money. Much worse. No, no, no. I know, but out of money. Uh huh. Needing and to like, move back in with his parents. Yeah, like and all that really stuff. bad. Yeah. But he is desperate, and the mm -hmm. thing is, is that there was just a, there was just put upon him a time limit. So his yeah. mom called him and said, "Hey, yep, my, you know, your father is having some issues." with um getting job everything got restructured at his employment so which probably means he got laid off with a bunch of other people as the right. company went through yep. its whole yeah, you know probably. situation there and then he can't find a job unable to find a job mm -hmm. which is yeah that's too real i yeah, remember yeah. i remember multiple times where uh you know our dad was working mm -hmm. and then the company would either restructure or go under and he would get you know laid off so then yep. he would be looking for work mm -hmm. for a long period of time and, and in a big family especially it was a big deal. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. Yeah. And there were other times where the other company he would work for would go under a restructure and he would be like crossing his fingers like, please, I right, hope right. I don't get laid off. Otherwise, uh -huh. that's yeah, going yeah. to be hell. Yep. Yep. And it's so hard to find jobs when you're older. Oh, yeah. For Sato, in reality, it's easy for him to find right. a job. He could, he could absolutely get a customer service job. He'd need to shower and, you know, things and like show that. Up and show up. Consistently. And, and be comfortable with talking to people on a regular basis right, but there are which other jobs not, but... there are other jobs that are even easier than customer service mm -hmm. where you could basically be at a retail store and all you do is the most complicated thing you'll ever do is you might have to use a ladder where you'll like take boxes out mm -hmm. of the back of like some kind yeah. of uh it's basically an inventory right. guy in the back yep you don't have to even talk to too many people in, mm -hmm. that, in that respect there. right but the thing is, is that the it's all in your head, Mr. Tweety. Yeah, yeah. Say it. It's like, and, yeah. and Sato's, Sato's issue is in his head, right? Yeah, so absolutely. So he, he votes himself off the island of all of these regular ways of going about solving his problem. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to the Hail Mary, the, <laughs> the, 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 oh, wouldn't that the be awesome? Immediate the immediate satisfaction Right, way. exactly. The immediate satisfaction mm -hmm. way and the essentially like buying a lottery ticket almost like oh, not, it's, not, it's it's almost like, like worse like, than that yeah like because... not that he not that he couldn't theoretically make this work but it's something where he's never played the game before so mm -hmm. he doesn't know what he's doing he's never right? played an mmo before so he doesn't know some of the basic right? kind of game yep. you know meta of that type he's of, not researching type of exactly what needs to be done for the people that actually sell the items yeah, right he so he can he... plot out a, a, a course of like okay yeah. These We're, are the items that are hot in itself mm -hmm. for a lot. If I can make these, okay, cool. In order to do that, I yep. need to hit this level by in right. 20 days or something. If, and then, yeah. yeah. If we are in the world of MMOs, meaning massively multiplayer online RPGs, then we are also in the world of internet browsers. That means that he should be able to go and find this information, but he chose instead mm -hmm. to just go straight into the game right. yep. because he's, he's a baka. Yeah. So... As he gets well, into this it's game, it's because he's here. afraid of failure. Well, if he yes. if he actually fully dedicates himself, then he can fail. No, right? I know, but there's yeah. there's a difference between mm -hmm. like going into it versus just looking at the requirements. Oh, yeah, a yep. basic yep. Google search of even yep. like what are the classes in this game? Mm -hmm. What is actually max level? Right. How what long is the does fastest it take to way to level, level up? Yeah. Right. yeah, there are YouTube videos <laughs> specifically for every MMO in existence right now saying mm -hmm. how is the fastest way right. to get to level. You and, know, whatever. And, and maybe at this time, you know, when this show takes place, there isn't as much of that stuff, but there would still be forums and whatnot. Like, you, yeah. you could still find out. And you don't have to talk to anyone to that, to yep. do that. Mm -hmm. If anything, yeah. like, that's all within his repertoire. Right. It would be easier to do that for him than to actually go and find a group in-game. Which I like <laughs> that it was actually tough for him to find a group in-game. Because, yes. yes, MMOs are scary. I... When I first started playing MMOs was... Let me think back 13? 14? Yeah. Okay, so my earliest experience, I'm going to go TLDR through my MMO life. I played way too much MMOs when I was a teenager. Basically mm -hmm. from ages like 13 to 21 or what have you, I played MMOs on and off. I started in like Facebook, like little group games or what have uh, you. And I literally like started a, a group guild yep. in this game called My Hero's Ability, which was based off the TV show Heroes. Mm -hmm. Great and game. We Great game. we got really strong really quickly. But yeah. the thing is, is that the way the games were back then is you could actually desync your profile from your gaming profile, so you could appear anonymous as whoever you wanted to be. Right. In that nowadays you probably can't do that. But the thing was is that I was leading people in this group of about 120 people as a like 
freaking like 14 year old mysterious figurehead yeah 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 and i was a mysterious figurehead that enjoyed this whole thing this went on for two years yeah okay over the course of those two years i made fast friends with people that were guys in their 30s okay Uh uh-huh and i'm like 15 or 16 at this point as about the point i'm turning i think it was about 15 uh one of them is like hey you're pretty cool i'm gonna take a few of us from this here this you know this game here and we're gonna go play world of warcraft you should join us i'm like i don't know what world of warcraft is but that sounds like cool fun whatever how do i do that well they're like we have to buy the game online and you have to get a subscription i'm like "Ah, i don't have that much money and they're like no 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 no. it's cool we'll send you a bunch of free game time right and the game itself i'm like okay that's weird and they're like what's your address i'm like uh uh i mean that's not weird to answer on the internet yeah yeah well the thing was is that i literally was supremely nervous about it instead of being like i should ask my parents see if this is a good idea i was just like Okay, but you can't share this with anyone. And then I <laughs> sent the address, and then they sent me the game, the expansion for TBC, mm-hmm. bunch of months of game time. Like I think I got three months and like seven of those like one week like game time little codes oh, or what okay. have you. It was a bunch of papers in this box, and uh, yeah, I no lifed World of Warcraft from that point on. For, for like, I don't know, like nine months, ten months, or what have you. Wow, yeah, yeah. I played a druid, a Torin yep. druid. Uh, <laughs> I didn't understand MMO stuff. So you I understood was it more than me. I was constantly running around in cat form into high-level areas, and it's like, okay, it's okay, I can just stealth. And it's like, yeah. it's like, what are you doing? We're supposed to level, we're going this way. I'm like, but this is fun. So yeah. that, was, that was that time. And then, fast forward a bit later, I eventually quit WoW, ended up uh i think getting a girlfriend at some point which kept me away from mmos for for at least a little bit but then star wars the old republic came out right because they their deceived trailer came out in 2008 and it was so cool 2008 yeah and it was so mind-blowingly amazing uh-huh like it's like okay this is we can finally get star an actual wars. star wars episode 7 like, star wars this, wow this looks so know? good right yeah yeah and then the three-year journey you know through all the trailers and everything to when it finally actually released, we had our characters planned out. Uh-huh. We were, a, we were huge were fans a, of Star Wars: The Old Republic. So right, right, made exactly. A lot of, yep. Star Wars: Knights: The Old Republic. Yeah. Yep, yep. So we were like, "This is this is fantastic. This is amazing." You were a, a, a sorc- inquisitor, a Sith inquisitor, sorcerer named Azula. Yeah. I was a, uh, a Sith warrior, Sith warrior juggernaut named, named Zuko. Zuko. <laughs> it was great. I was this tiny little build, but I was a tank. You know, but this this frail little guy. Um, and then I would support him and stuff yep. like that. And then yep. we brrr, burned that game. And then I think by the point you hit max level, ended your story, you kind of tapered off and started yeah, to lose I interest in the game. Yeah, I didn't do too much like end game le- stuff. max level stuff or mm-hmm. like starting other characters. I did some, but I, I don't right. think I ever got any to max level I think after you, that. you played a Jedi Knight next or something like that and got yeah. into like Tusken Raider gear. Oh yeah, yeah like Tusken Raider gear with dual axes and stuff. It was great. It was so much fun. I, I liked yeah. the PvP a lot more than the actual... Unless it was the story. Game. Yeah, the story, the story stuff was fantastic. But yeah. like the Sith Warrior had a really great story. So like going to other ones after that kind of felt like not as good yeah yeah so i got way into (laughs) star wars the old republic i know life dip for probably about three years yeah and i got so into it that it was actually causing problems every once in a while with my best buy job (laughs) and that was that was that was every once in a while like i would get like almost no sleep and i would be pumping energy drinks or whatever to actually do well at best buy i still actually did pretty well (laughs) at best buy but i got so into the game (laughs) i did every single storyline on every single class so that's eight classes that's some like you know like 400 hours of gameplay right there I Easily. unlocked everything, Easily. did all the end game content, had at least one character, and then I ended up in this guild with some friends yeah. of mine, and we started to, you know, get to know each other. They a little monopolized bit more. the no, 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 server. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm telling the story. Okay. That's not that. I actually made some really good friends in there that ended up actually going over to Destiny. That was a whole nother mm. MMO experience there, but I'm not going to talk about that. From there, they all basically portaled over to destiny eventually like over over the course of over the course of time but 
I had this like, but I still like Star Wars: The Old Republic. I I want to do both, mm-hmm. but I, I like this one there. So I split off from that guild, took my hordes of money, found this other guy, and him and I had this idea to do like this crafting scheme that would basically have us dictate the economy because we found a bug with which if you moved the items from being equipped to unequipped and then you put them into a specific thing and you took it out, you could disassemble an item to learn the schematic for it. But crafting in that game always stopped at the second highest tier of gear. So the highest tier of gear was uncraftable. Except when we did this gimmick here, which allowed us to learn the... um, No, no, no. Sorry. I've got it wrong. No. Second highest tier of gear was the highest craftable gear. But we had a way that would guarantee a schematic being learned whenever we disassembled it a certain way. So everyone else was grinding... Mm -hmm. disassembling things to learn the schematic and we would learn all the schematics instantly so we slowly but surely took a top rating kind of group thing used that to get all the schematics for every bit of like second highest tier end game gear crafted it and yeah took over the economy of a server excel spreadsheets and everything for like who's gonna craft what having things who's selling things to what yeah Yeah. having every at least one of everything in inventory at every given time so that if someone wanted to buy something you didn't need to wait for the person that had the crafting ability and schematics to craft it you just gave it to them immediately and then put in an order request yeah for so much stuff right people would come to us with an entire guilds like raiding party and be like, we need them all geared, you know, by the end of the week so that we can do the highest level of, you know, end game content. Mm-hmm. And we were like, absolutely, that's going to be this many millions of credits. And they'd right. be like, absolutely. And then they'd fork it all over. <laughs> they'd empty their guild banks, put into ours. We started accumulating so much money that we would have Stupid people coming into our guild specifically to try and like, you know, steal from us. And we had one person that actually succeeded in making off with 20 million, which in that game's time, usually an end game character would have about 3 million and that would be a lot. That would be a good amount. We casually had like a few hundred million in our guild bank and then a couple hundred on each player so that it wasn't all located in there. And we gave a point where a person could have like up to, I think it was like 20 or 25 million, if they were a certain tier of guild member, one person came in, nabbed all that money, bunch of gear, left, and we were like, you bitch, all right, we blacklisted you, we put his name out, His there was like a legacy name that ties to all of your alts, so even if you tried to change like characters and, and disappear, every single person on the server knew this guy's name and wouldn't raid, wouldn't and, do anything with and him. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys... We're able to actually contact... No, no. No, no. No, no they don't care. Oh, okay. So, no, yeah, there was no, nothing no. like that? No, okay. Bioware didn't care. It doesn't care okay. about that kind of stuff. That's okay. just you messing up. That's MMO stuff right there. Gotcha. People ninja loot or whatever. Who mm-hmm. cares? But we ended up getting just bored with doing this because this is actually a lull point in the game where they weren't introducing new tiers of uh-huh. gear. Yeah, yeah. So we ended up just making billions over the course of like... I don't know, six months or what have you. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> and then we were just like, huh, yeah, no one else really needs gear anymore anymore on the server. So, yeah, we all just split up, went our separate ways. I contacted the guild leader at one point, and I was like, hey, how's it going? He's like, hey, I'm not playing this game anymore. Do you want all my money? I've got a few billion, you know, still left. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. I don't, I don't really care. But uh, and that's then, And then here there was me experience. when I would think about, like, Maybe I should go back and playing some of the end, you know, some more of the end game content. And then it's like, how much money do you have, Caleb? Oh, like, you know, 40 million or something. It's like, hmm. And then I go and do some, like, quests. You get 10,000. 10,000 credits from doing this quest. And I'm just like, I'd be like, do you want some end game gear? Like, I can, nah. I can you know, send a few million your way to. You never you sent me a few million. Are you kidding? <laughs> No, no, you literally didn't. You literally turned down things at multiple points. You're like, I, I, I get it, I get it. I never turned down anything. No, because I give, I give all kinds of stuff to people. You, you, you no. don't remember. It's no. okay. It's okay. Yeah. But, um, but anyways, MMOs are things MMOs. we've we've had a lot of experience. Yeah, with. and and we d- disappeared. 
during that time. Mm -hmm. For me, it didn't last quite as long as Kill, but yeah. Oh yeah, and so, I went straight from Swotor to Destiny mm -hmm. one launch day. You go to the Destiny like anniversary videos, like Destiny launch day videos on the Bungie YouTube page, and like their one year anniversary. You can find me in the videos at Bungie headquarters if you look hard enough. Yep. Like yep. I, I then no life to Destiny one after that. It's right. been a. It's been a sad, sad story. Yeah, I, I, I stopped MMOs pretty much. Like you were smart. Like, you got into Dota though. That was I, your, I got into that Dota. Was your, that was uh, that was my addiction. that was my uh, my addiction, which was short lived and passionate. But um, <laughs> yeah. But so so Sato. I, Sato, yes. <laughs> Back I to the understand show. Understand your your plight, your struggle. You are terrified as you should be because you're being forced into a certain circumstances that you are not familiar with. You're not used to, right? Yeah, he's never worked a job in his life. Yeah, and now he's looking for the the quick and easy solution, right? Yep. yep. The dark side offers many paths to power some consider to be unnatural. Mm -hmm. And it may be quicker, easier, and more seductive, but it's not going to work out well. Nope. It's not going to work out nope. well. Oh, boy. And and yeah. the, uh, and and what's, what's the worst part about this? <laughs> oh, man. The worst part about this. Is that it's not that he's something it's something that he's deciding to do while doing other stuff. It's consuming everything. Yeah. And he's deciding to do it at the worst time. Mm -hmm. At the worst time when he has a month, right? Yeah. You know, potentially less than a month, right? You know, however however that I think it's already stuff. been a week, basically. Right. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and okay, yeah, you need to be level hundred. You're level thirty. Good job, you're level thirty. Mm, yeah mm -hmm. no it's not yeah. gonna go well no it's not. not going to go well at all yeah yeah i feel really bad for him because one of the things that's really insidious about mmos uh -huh. is they make you feel important they make you really oh, sure. feel like you're making progress in life like it is an insidious hamster wheel that you will enjoy no lifing like it's it's addictive it's, oh yeah it's Straight it's up. great also i would say because you will make actual legitimate human connections through mmos yes they're wonderful for that yep. i still have friends to this day that i've met only through mmos but the yep. thing is is that those aren't going to be the people that will help you with your um well, rent yeah. necessarily yeah. it when, doesn't uh, pay the bills it doesn't, it doesn't pay, pay the, the bills. bills. No. no. You still need a job, buddy. Even the you need to watch anime to pay the bills. <laughs> even a part-time job working like six yeah. hours a week. Because I, I once was like, oh, I need, I really need a job when I was like mm -hmm. out of money in, in school and stuff like that. And I would just go and mow lawns in a place where everyone just had dirt and rocks. And it was like, here's 20 bucks, kid. Here's 10 bucks, kid. I'd be like... Oh, thank you. I can eat like slightly better food, you know. I can buy beans now. Yeah, Yay. yeah. Not even meat. Just <laughs> no, just beans. Like, like I had rice, and I'd be like, oh my god, I can yeah. have, I can have chili with my, <laughs> with my rice. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just shitty yeah. canned chili. Oh man. Like, uh, and and the thing is, the okay, the whole you do idea. What you can. The whole idea of trying to like grind, grind an MMO for money. You know, Sato, if you want to do that. <laughs> You go for it. You go for it. But first. But first. But first, get a part-time job mm -hmm. so that your bills are paid. Yep. So that the timeline of when that MMO grinding for money, mm -hmm. like, becomes yeah. profitable. Yeah. Is flexible. Yeah. Because right now, uh -huh. you're on the wire. And that little plus two magic sword out. you got there. Uh-huh. No one wants it. Yep. So you're going to have to uh you're going to have to take a lot more time into this yeah. and uh currently your <clears throat> physical health will and, probably stop you before and, your your And let your me rent say money does. I don't care how much of a hikikomori you are. Letting someone wait for you. Yeah. Time yeah. and time again without telling them anything. It doesn't take much effort. The place is practically right by his apartment. I right? I know, but but Okay, but, okay, but no, no, hold on, no, no. hold on. Psychological factors, all that stuff, sure. Yeah, yeah, but I was gonna point out the worst part is that she's actually like there at his door. She's opened the door. Oh, and yeah, he's yeah. Completely in the yes, zone. He yes, does yes. not care. Uh huh, uh huh. But, but the thing is, okay, you don't wanna leave your game. 
cool. You're in a you're in a point where you're making lots of progress or whatever. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It isn't that hard to take a quick break to let them know that you won't be there so that you're they are not one worrying whether you've killed yourself, but two not spending their whole evening sitting there thinking, is he going to show up? Welcome to the the pull of MMOs, Jacob. <sighs> this is this is this is how fast it works. This is how like powerful it is. Yeah. And it is yeah. it is quite a sight to behold. Oh. Mhm. Mm yeah. So yes. that's what we have to look forward to. Sato is going deep into the fantasy of that he's actually making progress in life. Yeah. And as a Hikikomori, that's got to feel very good. He's getting those dopamine hits. Um, mm -hmm. I give him about a 1 in 50 shot of actually making this because he does have a party member now. Now, usually MMOs yeah. expect you to have around 4 or 5 instead of just mm -hmm. 2. So uh, right. let's hope that... Uh... But it's a healer. That's the best place to start, <laughs> right? You don't want to start with another damage dealer or something. That, uh, it, it'll, it ping, helps. Ping but... aggro. You, you grab and run around this tree. Okay. And it's a pew. Doing pew, that good old ghoul pew. run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> LOS the target. Bring yep. them up around there. And then just, just run them in circles. And then the other person is <laughs> just dropping AOE and stuff like in the air. Uh. It's like, is it working? Kinda. <laughs> That's what I would do in like old school WoW is I would help a mage and basically like kite way more than they, what they would usually do. And then they had AOEs. They would do blizzard or whatever and I would run them in the circle of the blizzards. So they maybe never left the area, but because the blizzard area was just big enough and the circle I would do is just keep them in the perimeter, mm -hmm. they would never actually hit me more than like, you know, like half health uh -huh. uh, after the whole run because in wow when they would hit you they would stop for a little bit and then they would continue the thing and you uh -huh. could basically yeah. Yeah, yeah yep but um oh, man. we got tons of xp doing it that way that was but, oh boy like legit. yeah cat form all you the need, way you need to get yourself a real job and watch anime sato <laughs> uh, so this yeah. is where we're at uh sato is in uh, a predicament and i liked the visual imagery that they gave to show what it feels like as the fear creeps in of oh my god half my living allowance uh -huh. and he only had like 600 yen yeah less six than bucks. 600 yen six bucks in his bank account yeah so he's like he's like i can buy a buy CD. cd yeah 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 what are you gonna do yeah, yeah. and and i will tell you this is not the, okay this, all right all right all right that's this is this is not a, a, a hikikomori thing or, or whatever but this is why Economics is important. Spice and Wolf, go watch it, right? Because because the thing is, you do not want to be living paycheck to paycheck. It sucks. It sucks so bad. But if you can if you can get to that point where you're where you're being frugal frugal enough and whatnot, and no, I'm not just saying this because we're watching anime for a living and all that stuff. Like even before then, right? Like like working those extra like getting that extra taking that extra shift at work, you know, and 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 not buying that nice thing or whatever, right? So that you can actually get to the point where you have a little bit of a buffer, because if you have that buffer, it makes the world of difference. Like it doesn't your even mental health. Like, yeah, yeah. It's amazing, the, the buffer yeah. doesn't even need to be going up, yeah. right? As long as you just have a buffer and it's staying there, yeah. it is is everything. Yeah. yeah. When I was in California, I was living off of forty dollars a month for food, and I had no money. And the thing was, I had worked out a special deal because of my summer job. Mm -hmm that I paid all my rent up front and they gave me a discount on the rent overall. And so me in my economic brain was like, well, that's actually amazing because mm -hmm. then I spend less money and I have a little bit more uh, in my account. But the thing was, is that I was in California and while it wasn't, you know, like LA or anything like that, uh -huh. I had to figure out how to survive on $40 a month for food. And oftentimes that meant I was just eating peanut butter out of the out of the freaking thing with a spoon and and that's fun to do when you want to do it yeah not when you have to do not it. not when you have to do it yeah and like i you know would have moments and stuff where it'd be like i guess i'm just gonna sleep a lot today because that feels like you know better than i won't be as i won't stuff. get as hungry that i won't way. get as hungry yeah oh man yeah so i totally understand the panic of when mm -hmm. your bank account shows zero basically yep and you're like I need more yeah. than that. Uh -huh. And then you go out and you're like desperately trying to make money. Mm -hmm. And I was no hikikomori for sure. Mm -hmm. Like I had a decent like handle on my personality, but my confidence was down in the, the gutter at that point. I'm like 19 years old. So 
I mm-hmm. did what I could and went basically door to door around the area and was like, hey, do you need your grass cut? I don't have any money and I can't find work right now. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, we don't really cut our grass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this is California. This is California. Don't it have... never rains here. Yeah, yeah it's, there's nothing to cut. And right. I was just like, okay, do you know anyone? And they're like, no, sorry. I'm like, okay, bye. You know, <laughs> I just okay, go bye. to the next one. And after like seven or eight rejections, I wasn't really interested in walking around in like you oh, know, yeah. 90 degree weather oh, anymore. Yeah. So I was like, well... Okay, I guess I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> Go to oh, some different man. houses. And every once in a while, someone would be like, yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Here's $10. I'm like, okay, all right. That's that's something, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Like, I can buy beans. That's literally a thing. I would go, they had a Costco equivalent down there called Winco. Yeah, yeah. And Winco is basically cheaper Costco because you didn't need a membership to go there. And employee, or Winco, like, right. saved my life down there. It's discount there. happiest place on earth because Costco is the happiest place on yeah, earth. Yeah, but, like, it was, it was a really crummy place. Yeah, yeah. That, like, well, know. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> so so I, I did what I could. Mm-hmm. And there were multiple moments where it would be like, yay, I made 30 bucks this month. That was, you know, enough to put me up to where I would able you to only spend spend, spend ten bucks to spend much. essentially yeah. the no 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 to well, spend right, essentially but... the forty or fifty that I would need to in order to oh. do food that month because I had I had budgeted it out till the end of the year if I could do forty dollars a month, but there were months oh, where man. I accidentally right. you know messed up and uh-huh. the 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 numbers yeah. didn't line up properly and, and, and that is why a buffer is so important so important. Whew. But uh, yeah, yeah. That's also what helped to start the channel. We had a buffer. Yep. Yeah. So y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction discussion. I know this was not really an episode yeah. discussion regarding NHK, but it right. was to talk about a lot of the things that are relevant in this mm-hmm. episode. And a lot of it is, you know, kind of Sato just getting lost in an MMO. Yeah. And while we could talk about how it was cool that they showcased it in kind of an SAO style thing yeah. where it's like, yeah, he's actually in the MMO. Like mm-hmm. that's how he feels transported into this. And right. Like, that's all rather that's, cool. That's why it gets so addicting. Right? right. I want to see the stuff that comes in the next episode where mm-hmm. we see how the yep. lingering effects of this go to de- be detrimental to him, but also the people around him. And how it's addressed. Yeah. If at all. Yeah. So y'all... We'll see you in the next episode's reaction. But if you don't want to wait till next week for that, check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And you can talk with Jake about the novel that he wrote. That's right. Um, I wrote a sci-fi novel, in case you haven't heard somehow. Mm-hmm. It's called Battle Lines. It's available on Amazon in both hardback and ebook. Link in the description. If that's something that interests you, make sure to check it out. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.